Well, hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to Story Time with Mr. S. I hope everybody's having a good week. Uh, my story today is called The Boy Who Cried Wolf. The Boy Who Cried Wolf. We're going to find out what this crazy story is about and uh, maybe talk about it a little bit afterwards. It starts with a bunch of pictures of sheep. So um, I bet the boy has something to do with sheep. So let's see. The Boy Who Cried Wolf. There was once a shepherd. Now, a shepherd, boys and girls, is somebody who takes care of sheep, and I'm, I'm betting it's that boy. I am so bored, he thought. All day long, all I do is watch the sheep. All the sheep do is eat. Not only that, all they say is, bah, munch, 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 bah, bah, answered the sheep. Hmm, doesn't seem very interesting, huh? Nothing ever happens here. None of my friends come to play. I am the most bored boy in the whole world, thought the shepherd. Munch, munch, munch. Bah, answered the sheep. Ew, he's picking his nose. Oh, disgusting. I wonder if sheep ever get bored, he thought. So he decided to teach the sheep some tricks. Oh, I want to point out a couple of things. First of all, his trick looks like he's walking off a cliff. And second of all, why does that bird have a person's head? Oh, what kind of book is this? He expected the sheep would be happy to learn something new. But none of them really seemed interested. Munch, munch, munch. Bah, said the sheep. And there's that weird man bird again. I don't like that guy. What we need is a little excitement, said the shepherd. Well, hmm... What would be exciting? I know, he said. The shepherd boy jumped up from under his tree in the pasture and ran all the way into town yelling, Wolf! 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 There's a wolf after the sheep! Hmm, is there really a wolf after the sheep? No. So, that boy is lying, right? He's telling something that is not true. All the townsfolk came running as fast as they could to help the shepherd boy protect his sheep. They looked everywhere for the wolf. There was no wolf in the pasture. There was no wolf on the hill. And there was no wolf in the forest. Man, they brought everything. Their rakes, their shovels, their baseball bats, all kinds of stuff. One of the shepherd boy's friends stayed with him for the rest of the day to make sure the wolf was really gone. That was a really fun afternoon, said the shepherd. Mm. But the next day, munch, 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 bah, life in the pasture was back to being boring again. Oh no, what do you think this boy's going to do, boys and girls? I sure hope he doesn't say there's another wolf when there really isn't. So the shepherd boy jumped up from under his tree in the pasture and ran into town, this time yelling, Wolves! 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 There are at least two wolves after my sheep! Hmm. You know what, boys and girls? I don't see any wolves on this page at all. And just like the day before, everyone came running lickety-split to help the shepherd boy protect his sheep. And just like the day before, they looked everywhere for the wolves. No wolves in the pasture. No wolves on the hill. No wolves in the forest. Hmm, they must have run away, the shepherd explained. One of the boy's friends stayed with him for the rest of the day. This time to see if there really was a wolf. Why, that was another fine afternoon, thought the shepherd boy after his friend left. The next day, just when the shepherd boy was beginning to get bored again, he heard lunch, 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 <coughs> and lunch, 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 <coughs> and lunch, 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 <coughs> uh-oh, boys and girls, what do you think it is? Do you think it's one of the sheep? No. Do you think it's one of the villagers? No. Do you think it might be a wolf? And there, by the edge of the pasture, were three big, hungry wolves. The sheep started running in all directions. And for the third time, 
the little shepherd jumped up from under his tree in the pasture and ran into town, this time yelling, Wolves! 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 There are three wolves after my sheep. But this time, nobody came to help. This time, no one believed him. And the shepherd boy spent the rest of the day looking for his sheep all by himself. And there he is, looking for his sheep. Do you know where his sheep are? Hmm. Oh, good. They seem to be safe up in that tree. You know, in another version of this story, um, the wolves eat the sheep. But thankfully, these seem to have gotten to safety. So, boys and girls, that's the end of the story. What do you think about it? Do you know why nobody believed him? The first time when he told the lie that there was one wolf, everybody came to help him, and there was no wolf. The second time when he told another lie that there were two wolves, everybody came and helped him, but there was no wolf. So the third time when he said there were wolves, and there really were wolves, the people in the town were like, ah, that shepherd boy, he's telling us another lie. But he really could have used their help. So I think the point of this story, boys and girls, is to always tell the truth. Um, that's a good point, right? And I know you guys always do. So in any case, that was my story for the day. I hope you liked it. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about this shepherd boy and his um, problem with telling lies. You can leave me a comment on my Google Classroom page. And don't forget to click the turned in button so I know you guys saw this video. Tomorrow I'm going to read you another great story, and I hope you're having a good time at home. I hope everybody's staying safe. Check back tomorrow, and there'll be another great story waiting for you. See you guys later.